here for shelter from the rain, are you people? Woo! Look at this, we have a princess! Hello, princess! Happy birthday! Oh, it's a bachelorette party. Oh, nice! At a comedy club. This is the best bachelorette party ever! Well, what's your husband's name like? Parag. I'm sure Parag is at a comedy club too. Yeah. <laughs> Parag is having a great time down at Chuckles or whatever they call it. Actually, Chuckles might be the name of the stripper. Who knows? <laughs> Dude, I don't know if this is a nice work party because my website actually is IHateWeddings.com. That's my real website. Go to it to see my picture. But it's funny. It's not that I hate marriage. I just think a wedding is a big party right before your buddy goes into the witness protection program. Because <laughs> after that party, you never see that dude again. <laughs> and there is something about the power of an engagement ring, man. It's like the ring from the Lord of the Rings. You put that on a girl's finger, they turn into the most self-centered bastards on earth. <laughs> Look at your eyes, face looking at you. Buddy. All right, anyway. You know, like, no, seriously, and it's not just you, it's every bride and groom, man. Like, I got my friend Bruce, he used to be a cool guy. And then I just got a save the date card for his wedding on July 4th, 2009. And I'm looking at the card that says, don't make plans, July 4th, 2009. I'm like, July 4th? Is that the same day as the 4th of July? <laughs> Because I think I have plans that day. It's called Booze and Fireworks, you can get record. Woo! Woo! What's the matter, Bruce? Did you get the hall on Christmas? What's going on? <laughs> Where's your wedding going to be? Liberty State Park. Liberty State Park, can I come? Did you see me at the freak table? Did you see me at the freak table? <laughs> Do you know what the freak table is, folks? That's the table of people that you have to invite to your wedding, but you're really hoping they don't show up. <laughs> I wound up at my brother's brother-in-law's wedding. I had to go because I like, had to come. It's a family wedding, and they put me at the freak table. You know who I was sitting next to? The bride's father's mistress's son. <laughs> okay, that's how I knew I was at the freak table. It was table 98. Okay, there was only like 30 tables in the place, but it was table 98. <sighs> And it's tough too because everybody in there all looking at you. Is this like a big fundraiser for you at this point too? Because like a wedding is like a big fundraiser for people too. Look at all these like kids who are like going to park dishes and have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> like, is, it, is a wedding like a prom? I don't know. <laughs> um, and all the hopes and dreams I'm ruining for the junior high class over here. <laughs> Am I going for like a bar, a bachelorette party, or a school trip? It's like two different audiences here. Sweet Jesus here. It's like, we're missing a pineapple under the sea. And then here I feel like I should be like sucking a drink out of a penis straw. Have you seen that? Like at bachelorette parties, man, they suck on drinks out of penis straws. And I thought the whole point of getting married is that you have to do that anymore. How old are you there, Russ? Uh, how old are you? 26. Oh, you're, you're still young. Like, bachelor parties, man, they get worse as you get older. Learn from me, lesbian couple over here, okay? <laughs> bachelor parties get worse as you get older. I remember my first bachelor party. I was 21. We got liquored up, someone killed a hooker, okay? <laughs> I am 30 now. I to a bachelor party this summer, we played golf. <laughs> You know what that means? By the time I get married, my bachelor party's gonna be in a ball pit of chunky frickin' cheese. <laughs> yeah. Are you letting are you letting Parag pick his uh, tuxedo? Yeah, you can wear whatever you want, so long as I approve it. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, that's good. Though. I, my friend uh, was allowed to pick his own tuxedo. He picked a white tuxedo. Yeah, it was like a one boat wedding. <laughs> Guys, you should be wearing a white tuxedo. If you're wearing a white tuxedo at your wedding, you should satisfy two requirements. You should be from Long Island, and your last name better be Gotti. <laughs> if you don't satisfy those two requirements, no white tux for you. <laughs> it's tough to figure out how much money to give away, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, no weddings are created equal, people. You know, I have a formula on my website. I hate weddings.com. Check it out later. <laughs> To help you figure out how much money you can give away, I always start with a base gift of $50.
So if there's a fan, I add 10 dollars per extra <laughs> If there's a DJ, I deduct 20. <laughs> if the DJ plays the chicken dance, the macarena, or the electric slide, I deduct 10 for each. <laughs> Bride's pregnant, I add $20. <laughs> <laughs> that's a ball. You run a money away if you're not done. <laughs> if the bride's pregnant and showing, I add $50, because that's funny. <laughs> if the bride's pregnant and the groom's not the father, I add $100. <laughs> <laughs> pregnant and I'm my be the father and two fifty. <laughs> if there's a cash bar for alcohol, you save all your receipts for the whole night, you total them up and deduct that from the initial fifty. <laughs> if there's a cash bar for soda folks, you find a bride, you find a room, you kick them in the shin. Because folks, if you can't afford to get me a carbonated freaking beverage, you can't afford to get married. I don't care if that girl's pregnant, you put that baby up on eBay because it ain't gonna work. <laughs>